Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So I kind of tried to do my cross my crosshair uh, makeup, but it looks a little bit silly uh, with my glasses on. Uh, so we're going to ignore how bad it looks, but I just wanted to show some love for crosshair uh, because he's back. He's back with the crew. I don't know how this episode is going to go. Oh, yes, we're back with episode five. I forgot to say that. Um, I don't know how this is going to go because uh, they're not exactly all in the greatest terms with each other. Um, but I'd like to hope they're accepting. And I can't wait to see Wrecker meet Batcher. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever. And then Batcher meet Gonky. Like, they're gonna be, they're gonna be so happy. I'm so excited. But I am very nervous. I hope we get, like, a proper conversation between them all. Like, a healthy adult conversation. Talk about, like, what's going on. Talk about tech, hopefully. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I just want them to, I just want them to get along and be fine with each other and work together again like the bad batch should be. Anyway, let's get into the episode. <laughs> oh, look at her. Look at her little cardigan and her little necklace. Oh, she's so precious. I will never forgive this show if anything bad happens to her. Ah, look who's awake. How'd you sleep? Probably a lot Did better than in a prison, yeah. Delivery from Shep and Leona. Where's Crosshair? Well, he wasn't in the ship when we woke up. Crosshair. He's still adjusting. I'll check on him. Okay, so he's still here. He hasn't just upped and left. All right. He's just not on the ship. Okay, okay. They made it back to Pabu and they took Crosshair with them! <laughs> AZ! Oh, Dude, I'm telling you, Crosshair is the father that doesn't want a pet and refuses to have a pet. And then when he gets one... They're, they're inseparable. Like, they're always together, and he is the father of that pet forever. Like... <laughs> found you, then. You need to talk to Hunter. I'm not hiding. You do need to have a very Jeez. adult conversation, <laughs> boys. Oh. You know... I'm sure AZ could look at your hand for you. I'm fine. So what skills does this require? And knowing when you've got eyes on you. Hunter and Wrecker. Yep. They don't trust me. Give it time. Give them, yeah, give them time. We will have to talk to them. Hmm. <laughs> Omega trusts him. That's good enough for me. Wrecker, honey. Gonky, 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 gonky. Batcher and Gonky. That's so exciting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Echo! Hey, bestie. Oh. I love just seeing her hug them all. Now hug for me. Hug him. It depends how good your intel is. Emery. She works for Hemlock. She's a clone. Like us. Like me. We have Nalisave's data pad, but it isn't working anymore. If we can get it online, we should be able to pull Well, we know who'd be good at working that out. We have schematics. I mean, Echo would be pretty good, but we know who would be... the coordinates of the base itself. Especially without tech. Oh, crosshair, even... Like oh. Okay, so we're not getting a conversation about tech, but at least he reacted. Where do we get one of those? Okay, that's... A, that's... No, I'll, t I'll accept it. Remote. Crosshair, Echo, and I will go to this remote facility. Wrecker and Omega, you stay here. But the crew's just got back together to... And you want to yeah, we just got back together! We just got you back. I am not going to risk you getting captured again. Yeah, we escaped. But, but, but I left all those clones behind. True. We need to do this, Hunter. You are still a kid. I'm older than you are, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he I laughed! Know, 
still <laughs> but, uh, What's this? My old arm. Oh, they kept yeah. it. It never felt right to get rid of it. Hug each other, god fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm never gonna be okay until they hug. Ugh. Reading minimal life signs, if any. That's a good sign. Hey, it does fit. <laughs> Yay! Oh, he looks so good. Thatcher is their sniffer dog. She's like, hey, I find this Adventure. thing. What is it? Just following orders. If you're scared, why don't you wait on the ship? Boys, hey, boys, boys. Kill each other later. <laughs> We're here for a reason. Let's crack into the data pad and get out of here. I said talk to him, not argue with him. It goes both ways. Crosshair, you're such a child. I love you. <laughs> yes, Batcher, help. There we go. Sorted. See, Batcher is the perfect companion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Stop it. Stop it. Why? Why? No. That should do it. Is this like one of those things from Rebels that kept like the spiders away? Oh no. Oh stop, I can't do this. The fucking bird. The bird. Also, I love he finally got his he finally got his toothpick back. I know you. There's more you're not telling us. At least it's something. Betcha? Always pay attention to dog signals. Something's wrong. Tell me what changed. What happened, Crosshair? He was trying to s warn you guys. Yes. I tried to warn you, Hunter. I risked everything to send you that message. You ignored it. You let Omega be taken to Tantus. She went through what she did because you failed. Oh. You're angry because she escaped with my help, not yours. I mean, they do need to get this out, but also... Pushed him out of the way. <sighs> God, Crosshair is not having any luck on this planet, like ever. Dude, this reminds me of the fucking. This is what are they? Reminds me of the sand crawler things Watch from. No chance of taking out. Oh God, what game was it? Jedi we Academy. Power to the and Jedi Survivor. Not alone. We'll do it together. You sure about that? 
I'll spot you both from the tower. Before yes. The Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Come on, Crosshair. Come on, Hunter. You guys can do it, I believe. Oh my god, this really is like the fucking games, isn't it? With the sand crawler. I can't remember what they're called. The thing that digs underground. I'm not good with the names of creatures. <laughs> Boys! that once they've reunited they have like they have a reason to work together to help each other survive i think that's the perfect thing that they needed honestly we found a weak point in the ice we'll try to dig through you'll try glad you heard me properly <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's so smart. They're all so smart. Oh. Things are getting close in here. Dude, this is terrifying. You tell him. You show him who's boss. Oh, see? He is, he is, he is the dog dad. really needed this. See? They always work it out. And I don't even see any blood this time. <laughs> That's progress. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you think the intel we recovered will help you and Rex? We're closer to finding and freeing those clones. I wish I could have done more to help them. Honestly, for a second, I thought that Wrecker was going to run up and uh, hug Batcher. <laughs> Hunter. I... I thought I knew what I was getting into with the Empire. I thought I was being a good soldier. I've done things I've made mistakes keep trying to be better and who knows there just might be hope for us yet don't say that because <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna like bird again I don't know how I'm gonna deal without these guys I I, I don't know how I'm gonna hand I I don't, I don't, I don't, I... <laughs> well, that episode was just rude, and I feel personally attacked. Um... Why did they have to take us back there? Mayday. Mayday became one of my favorite clones. He's like up there in like my, t like in my top favorites. I love him. You guys saw my reactions. I cosplayed him very terribly, but I cosplayed him at Star Wars Celebration. I love Mayday. And the fact that they brought us back to this planet 
We got to see the fucking bird. Crosshair found the helmet. The helmet. Did he print the paper? God, this episode was like therapy for all of us and for them as well. I, I'm so, so glad that they had that little talk at the end and Crosshair was able to admit his feelings. Um, and I'm glad, as I said, I'm glad that they were able to like go on a mission and help each other to literally survive. It wasn't just a random mission, like it was a life or death situation and they had to help each other and that made them realize that they can trust each other. They are still brothers. They still love each other. Oh my God. Very emotional episode. Very, very emotional. And we got Echo back as well. We got to see Echo and... They did obviously have a little quick mention of Echo and Rex's plans. So obviously we're going to see Echo and Rex probably go to Tantis, probably go and try and save the clones. Um, Gregor, maybe join them. Cody, maybe join them. Uh, I don't know if Wolf is one of the prisoners, perhaps. I don't know. Um, I, I know that Wolf's going to be in it, but I don't know where, what, where he is currently. I hope they save Scorch. I'm just... I'm... I'm... I'm lighting my candle. I'm manifesting it. Uh, I hope that they manage to free Scorch. I hope they manage to free all the clones. I hope all the clones get out of there and Bitch Boy like gets gets a little bit hurt. Um, hopefully he gets like pushed off the side, you know, Karma. <laughs> Even though that wasn't, that was Saw Gerrera, but Karma uh, for being a bitch. Um, yeah, so they mentioned tech again. Uh, no conversation. I am still disappointed that we haven't had a conversation of, hey, this is what happened. Obviously, Omega has told him. We, we're, we're, we're clear on that now. Omega has obviously told him while they've been talking in the prison. Um, he's fully aware of what's happened. They mentioned it at the table and he did look really sad. So I'm glad that we at least got that recognition that he knows and that he is upset about it. Rightfully so, as he should be. It's tech. Um, it was hard to hear them say, you know, oh, this is tech. This is if, we, if only we had tech here. If only. I believe, I believe, I believe. I They're maybe holding him prisoner. Maybe they went and got his body. They're holding him prisoner. They're doing tests on him. I don't know, but we're going to get him back. We're going to get him back. We still don't know who's in the pods. Uh, we still don't know what all is going on there. Um, but we got our episode of them reuniting, trusting each other, having their conversations, getting things off their chest a little bit. No blood was spilt, like Echo said. Uh, no one got hurt, thankfully. Um... But yeah, great episode, wonderful. Um, I am, uh, I I can't. I don't know how I'm gonna deal without these guys. Like, one of the most difficult things has been dealing without the Domino Squad. Like losing the Domino Squad, the entire Domino Squad, was like it was just awful, absolutely awful. Losing the entire Bad Batch, I don't know if I can handle. It. Like, especially with Echo being back, because that's twice. Like, I. Uh... It's difficult knowing what we know in the future of Rebels that we only have Rex, Gregor, and Wolf. Um, and then obviously things do change by the end of Rebels, which makes me very upset. But I don't want to. I don't want to spoil that for anything. But um, losing clones, seeing clones hurt, upset. Any of that, it, it hurts. It really hurts. I have a, a very, very strong emotional attachment. I mean, a lot of us do. Um, but that's, that is, that is, I, I have a very strong emotional attachment. And it's really, really difficult to go through this show knowing the possible outcome. I mean, I, I hope, I hope that, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to hope for. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't want to get my hopes up. Because it was a theory a long, long time ago that uh, because obviously we have Chopper Base, which is, you know, named after Chopper, we have Echo Base. A lot of people for so long have assumed that Echo Base, you know, they're like, oh, but we have Echo, but we have Echo Base. It's like, what's the correlation there? Do we have a correlation? Like, is that going to mean something? Which scares me. It scared me for the longest time. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I don't want to think too much into it because it makes me sad to think about it. It makes me worried. This being our last season and then going into Rebels and stuff, I just, I just can't handle it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We are trying to aim 
towards 100k by the end of this year which would be really really awesome to hit um so make sure you uh interact with the video as much as you can uh drop a like even drop a dislike if you're feeling like you don't like it because that still gives me interactions you know that gives that actually helps my channel um but i prefer it to be a like rather than a dislike um if you want to share it with your friends if you want to uh drop a comment um anything like that will help massively with the algorithm uh get the video shared to more people uh i just want to create a bigger community and bring more positivity and uh i guess a lot of people feel like i'm very relatable and i want to share that with more people because a lot of people feel like they can't show their emotions or they're too emotional over a cartoon and all this kind of stuff and then they say that having me react the way i do they realize they're not alone and i want to share that with more people i want more people to realize that we're all a little bit crazy uh we're all a bit delusional and it's okay um because we're we're star wars nerds and that's just how our life is set to be at this point um so yeah thank you guys for watching also make sure you follow my uh social medias as well instagram twitter all that kind of stuff um and i will see you guys in the next video so peace and may the force be with you